In this video, we will try to solve a problem in finding the marginal product of labor from a short run production function. The question is like this. Uh, the short run production function of a firm is given by that is x is equal to minus 0.1 l cube plus 6 l square plus 12 l while x is the output per week and l is the number of labors employed. We have to find the value of l that is the value of labors that maximize our marginal product of labor. Okay. So, first we write our production function is given by that is x is equal to minus 0.1 l cube uh, plus 6 l square plus 12 l. This is our this is our production function. Okay. Now, first we need to find the marginal product of labor. What is marginal product of labor? Marginal product of labor will be simply the derivative of uh, the production function with respect to labor that means the derivative of output with respect to labor since uh, this is also output function so marginal product of labor is simply the derivative of i will not use the partial because we have only one variable here so this is the derivative of derivative of uh, output function that is production function with respect to labor okay so what is the derivative of this very function okay this three will become coefficient by power function rule so this is three into minus 0 0.1 it becomes minus 0 0.3 l this uh, three is subtracted by one by power function rule so this becomes square here okay plus similarly this two will become coefficient so two six are twelve and this exponent is subtracted by 1 so this is 2 minus 1 is 1 so we are left with l to the power 1 plus the derivative of l is 1 so 12 into 1 is 12 okay this is our marginal product of labor okay now we have to find the value of l that maximizes marginal product of labor okay for that, uh, it requires that our first order condition for maximization of marginal product of labor is that the derivative of this marginal product of labor with respect to labor should be equal to zero. That is first order condition for maximization, maximization of M p l requires requires that the derivative of m p l with respect to labor should be equal to zero so we need to differentiate this marginal product of labor okay we need to differentiate this m p l with respect to l okay now what is the derivative of l square this 2 will become coefficient so 2 into 0.3 is 0 0.6 so i will write here minus 0 0.6 l 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have l to the power 1 plus the derivative of l is here 1 so we have are left with 12 okay and we set it equal to 0 now transposing we will get 0 0.6 l is equal to 12 or uh, 6 upon 10 0.6 can be written as 6 upon 10 l is equal to 12 which implies l is equal to 12 if we transpose this uh, fraction to the rhs it will get reciprocated so numerator becomes denominator so we have 10 upon 6 we have 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 so 10 twos are 20 that means l is equal to 20 which means that uh, the value of rather the number of labels that maximize our marginal product of labor is equal to 20 okay so uh, let us uh, make sure it is really uh, the value here it is the uh, it is the situation for that we need to check the second order condition okay second order condition requires uh, second order condition requires that is d square upon d l square of m p l should be less than zero that means the second derivative of marginal product of labor 
with respect to L should be less than zero. This is the first derivative of marginal product of labor. Now the second product, uh, second derivative of marginal product of labor will be that we again need to differentiate this uh, with respect to L, okay? And see whether it is less than zero or not, okay? So what is the derivative of L? It is one, so we are left with minus 0 0.6. And derivative of 2L is, uh, it is constant rather here, so it is derivative is zero. And here we can see it is less than zero. That means second order condition is also satisfied okay that means actually the number of labors that maximize our marginal product of labor is rather 20 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you